Hello. People HR now has a feature called Hot Sheets, and this allows you to sync up to seven different queries from your people system into an Excel spreadsheet. And this is quite handy if you have any employees or managers who need to access some specific queries but don't need full access to your query builder. And the reason for this is that only administrators have full access to the query builder. You can edit an employee's access rights to have access to the query builder, but this would give access to all data within the system. The first thing you need to do to set up Hot Sheets is download the specific Excel file, which will be found either at the bottom of this article, or if you go to the support center and type in Hot Sheets in the search bar, this will open up the article for you. Failing that, you can contact our support team via this icon at the bottom here, and they'll happily give you the link. Once you've downloaded the file, simply open the Excel sheet, and you may see an option here to enable content. You must click on this for the feature to work. And if you see a security warning, simply hit yes. You'll see in here that this is a little bit different to normal Excel spreadsheets and you'll see a People HR Queries tab at the top here. First thing you need to do is click on Settings. And this asks us initially for an API key. And what we need to do is go back to our People system first and generate an API key to allow the link between People HR and this Excel query sheet. Once you're in your People system, scroll to the bottom and hit settings and then select the option in here called API. If you haven't already created one, simply create a, an API key here. Give the key a relevant name and you simply need to select the query builder checkbox here and then hit save. You'll then see a key has been created for you and you need to select this option to then copy this key. Simply highlight the API key here and copy. Go back to the Excel spreadsheet and simply paste the API key into here. Below it then asks us for a number of different queries. We already need to have the query generated in People HR to link it up. So again, if we go back to People HR and then go to Queries, you then need to find the query that you want to sync. In this example, I have a query for timesheets today. If you run the query, you then need to take the name from the top here. So again, just highlight the name of the query and copy that. Go back to the Excel spreadsheets and then just paste in the name of that query into here. And as you can see below, you can enter up to seven different queries. And these will show us different tabs within this Excel spreadsheet. Hit save. And you'll see there's no data in here just yet. You then need to hit the run all queries button in the top left. This will then sync the query from People HR and show the data from the system. You can then save this Excel spreadsheet and then send it to whoever it needs to go to. But be aware that the API key will no longer be visible to that person. It will be encrypted in here. 